I had a lot of intense emotions coming up in, in the parable of David early on and working with the Course, and um, I could see that the Course was teaching there's only two emotions, love and fear. So I was quite interested in the fear emotion, because it was very intense, like a recoiling, and it was a very sharp and harsh, just an intense reaction, and, and I was asking about that, and um, like how does fear arise, or how can I be free of the fear, or how can I release the fear? And so as part of a series of questions, I remember one time I did ask Jesus, I said, what is it that I am really afraid of? And the answer that came back was love. And at the time I remember saying to Jesus, I don't get that. I don't comprehend that. I don't understand what you're talking about. I, I, love love. I love the feeling of love. I love the experience of love. I want to fall in love. I'm, I mean, my whole life is dedicated to love and now you're telling me that I'm afraid of love. It's just incomprehensible. So then I said, okay, I don't get that at all. Let's see. If I'm, you're saying I'm afraid of love, so I'm defending against the love. I don't get that. I need another way. Um, if I'm defending against love, what am I defending for? What am I trying to protect against this love? What am I protecting? And he said, a self-concept. I said, so that's where the fear is coming in. I, I'm trying to protect the self-concept. That's where all the fear comes up. That's where all the resistance comes up. He says, exactly. You are afraid of love and all your defense mechanisms and all of your shutdown feelings, your contractions, those sharp feelings of pain, all those intense emotions are all part of a protective mechanism of the ego to protect a false identity, a false self-concept. He said, is this false concept a personality self? And he said, oh yes and more, and more and the whole world you perceive as outside of that personality concept. The planet, the stars, everything, the black holes, everything. That whole subject-object split of you being a person, a subject, a perceiver, and the perceived world that you see, that's all the self-concept. And every time you feel a sharp emotion, a contraction, if you feel fear arising in any form, in any degree, from minor annoyance to minor fatigue, hunger, irritation, to rage and very seemingly violent kind of emotional reactions. All of that is coming from the identification with the self-concept. So at that point I said, okay, then that's helpful. Then that means I need to pay close attention that underneath those emotions that are so sharp, they aren't just emotions that are all by themselves, that just have an existence of their own. They're strings underneath them, there's attachments, they're being generated. Those emotions are being generated by the clinging to a false self, trying to protect a false self. So then I would just use all my encounters on earth to pay close attention, to notice when the contraction would come up. and. Now I was given my clue what was going on, so I could see things in a, in a helpful perspective, and I could always relate the emotion to an identity attachment. And that helped me start to empty my mind of identity attachments. Even around the course, or being a teacher, or being a father, mother, sister, brother, you know, all the roles um, that the ego attaches to. It made them up and it tells us we are these things, nationality, cultural background, pride, and many shapes and forms, you know, you start to see that, you know, it's almost like a, just a balloon, and, and the, if the balloon's the emotion, then the, the cord is the tether that's, that's still, there's something still holding on, and that's the journey of, you know, of emptying the mind, and he does say, Learn this course requires willingness to question every 
value that you hold. Not one can be kept hidden or it will obscure your learning. So I just at that point said, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, and bring it on. Let's, let's bring it on. Let's get to the, the bottom. Let's get to the root of all these tethers that's, that keep me from knowing who I really am. And it, was, it started to accelerate, I think, from that point. Start seemingly uh, more and more joy, more and more consistent peace, because I was getting more to the root of the error, and that was what was holding me back.